Hi, I'm Phoebe Newman, welcoming you to One Poem a Day Won't Kill You, our celebration of National Poetry Month. My name is Barbara Drake. I'm going to read a poem of mine called Amazing Mavis. Mavis is one of my grandchildren. There are quite a few of them, so I'm working my way through writing poems about all of them. Um, this is a, a curiel. It's, uh, the form is based on a kind of religious chant, but you'll, the poem is not a religious poem. It's somewhat modeled on uh, Theodore Retke's poem, Dirty Dinky, which is a comical poem in that pattern, and it has a refrain, as you'll see as I go through the poem. Amazing Mavis for my grandchild. When the moon lights up like a red balloon and the dog starts howling a dancing tune and someone flies in on the back of a loon, you can guess who it is, it's Mavis. When the wind blows through like a fidgety bat and the sky turns green and your tires go flat and someone appears in a purple hat, wouldn't you know it's Mavis? She's not so big, she's just so tall, but she's definitely there and she's not that small. When you cook spaghetti, she eats it all. I think you know she's Mavis. When cats wear shoes and cows wear pants and the fleas in your socks begin to dance, and someone's required to take a chance, it's time to call on Mavis. There's no one anywhere quite so quite, so much of a day and all of a night, so very on top and so very much right, so let's give a cheer for Mavis. I have to admit, this poem is so silly, it makes me sneeze like a dog eating chili. Perhaps I should move to the outer Antilles, but I want to stay here, near Mavis. <laughs>